Installing the Fuser Maintenance Kit in the HP 4000 and 4050 series printers. Be sure you turn your printer off and allow it to cool for 30 minutes before beginning this procedure. Turn your printer off on the front power switch. Then move around to the back and remove the interface cable you may be using. And then remove the power cord. You'll need to remove the paper tray cover and any items you may be storing inside the unused portion of the paper tray. Next you want to open the rear door, take a flat blade screwdriver and insert it on the left hand side and pry that open slightly, it'll come out and then it'll also then come out on the right. Remove the cap over the fuser on the left and then remove the cap on the fuser on the right. With a Phillips screwdriver, you can loosen the two screws on the fuser, one on the left, and then one on the right. Your old fuser will slide right out. Take your new fuser, install it in your printer, slide it in, it'll snap in, and then re-tighten your screws. Once your screws are secure, snap on your cap on the left, then snap on the cap on the right. Take your rear door, snap it in on the right, locate the hole, and use your flat blade screwdriver on the left. It makes it easier to drop that in the hole and close that. Reinstall your rear paper tray cover. Move around to the front of the unit, open the top cover, and remove the toner cartridge. We recommend covering the exposure hole in the toner cartridge with a couple sheets of paper. Your rollers will be replaced next. There's a tab you can press on the roller. They come off the same way. Open your paper drawer. Locate the little door on the left side of the paper drawer. Flip that open. Once that door is open, you can press the tab on the roller and it will slide off the shaft. Take your new roller, slide it back on the shaft and it will click once it's on all the way. Then close your door. Remove your paper tray completely and there's a roller up inside that you'll need to replace. Look up inside and it comes off the same way. Press the tab and the roller will slide off of the shaft. Take your new roller and then slide it on the shaft. If your unit has more than one paper tray, you can do those trays the same way. Next we'll do the transfer roller. It's located below the toner cartridge. Take your gloves, put those on and you'll have a hook. Take that hook and drop it in on the exposed metal of the shaft. Pull it straight up. Remove that transfer roller from the left. Your new roller will have paper on it. You can leave the paper on if you like. If you have gloves on, you can certainly take the paper off. Some people prefer to leave the paper on. Drop it in. Locate the clip on the left. Make sure it's facing straight up. Once it's straight up, press it straight down in and then remove your paper from the roller. Your front feeder has a cover. Remove that. And there's a roller. You insert a flat blade screwdriver, give it a little twist and that clip opens. Lift that roller straight off of the shaft. You'll notice there's a pin in that roller that matches a hole on the shaft. Take your new roller and you can drop it in straight down on the shaft. 
once it's on, it's easiest to close that if you take your thumbs and just give that a squeeze and it'll snap in and the clip will lock. And then reinstall your cover. You can now reinstall your toner cartridge. Close your top cover. Close your front cover. And reinsert your paper tray. Next we'll reset the maintenance count. You want to hold down the left side of item and value and then turn the printer on. You'll say it. The display will show reset maintenance count. Once that's done your printer will come up to the ready state and the procedure is complete.